Welcome back in. It's Parker and Sipple from the Lincoln Journal Star, HuskerExtra.com. This is the two-minute drill. Uh, we covered a bunch of injury stuff, especially about the tight ends earlier in four downs. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. We're talking offensive line on Friday here for the two-minute drill. Sipple, one of the other injury situations sort of we were monitoring on Wednesday during that open portion of practice was Turner Corker in the freshman left tackle. He was there, he was in pads, but he didn't have the knee braces and the ankle tape, which of course is telltale for an offensive lineman. He was sort of working on his own on the side. And we saw Brant Banks, who's a redshirt freshman, working with the number one offensive left tackle, Nori Noelle too. It's gonna get interesting. Uh, Nebraska feels like it's well situated. It's got depth at the offensive line, but it's gonna get interesting if that depth is tested right away this season. Yeah, Scott's been talking about Brant Banks for a couple of years. Yeah. I mean, he, he really liked him in that class. So was it the class of 2019? Yep. Yeah. It, 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 when he talks about the class of 219 or when he talked about it, he would always mention Banks. Nordine Noelli was a starter at Colorado State. Yeah, at guard. Yep. At guard. Yeah. Right. Um, there's other guys in that in that kind of equation, not necessarily a tackle, but we don't even talk about Trent Hickson anymore. Right. Who was one time a starter yeah. at Nebraska. Um, so they have decent depth there. It's interesting because Greg Austin always talks about wanting to sort of move pieces around and try different combinations, but they've got more than just experimental reasons to do that in this camp. And I think you see that. I mean, in the spring, uh, Brant Banks was battling with Matt Sichterman for the right guard job. Mm -hmm. Now he's taking reps as a number one left yeah. tackle. That sort of spells out exactly why they do this all the time in oh, terms yeah. of cross training guys. Oh, it's real. I mean, yeah. that, I mean yeah. it's, it's good for everybody on that team to see what can happen. If, if a guy goes down, you, you do got to tap into your depth. Those guys got to be ready all the time. Turner Corcoran just, you know, we, we don't know exactly what the deal is there, but he's been around. You know, it's not, it's yeah. not like he's on a scooter or he's missed all of camp or anything like that. But for a freshman, those are valuable repetitions just an op missed opportunity to be out there in team situations with with the first team yeah my guess is it's it's, it's really driving him crazy yeah uh, and and i mean let's face it he's a gigantic part of the team he's a, a guy that was recruited by oklahoma and ohio state he could become a cornerstone of the program and this is kind of delaying that yep uh no delay here this is a two-minute drill we're halfway from the start of camp to game one two weeks ago for uh sipple and parker thanks for watching